My name is Angela Jasmine. My metric number is 7832. Today, I'm going to talk about the pigeonhole principle. Pigeonhole principle states if N items are put into M containers with N greater than M, then at least one container must contain more than one item. This means that a flock of 20 pigeons flies into the set of 19 pigeon holes to roost. Because there are 20 pigeons but only 19 pigeon hole, one of these 19 pigeon hole must have at least two pigeons in it. To see why this is true, note that if each pigeon hole had at most one pigeon in it, at most 19 pigeons, one per hole, could be accommodated. In addition, if A is the average number of pigeons, Per whole, where A is not an integer, then at least one pigeon hole contains seal A, a smallest integer greater than or equal to A pigeons. Remaining pigeon holes contain at most floor A, a largest less than or equal to A pigeons. That's all about pigeon hole principle. So, next, I will pass it to my friend. Assalamualaikum and greetings to Dr. Abdul Razak. I am Norladia Sari Binti Johari. My matrix number is 80656. In a game of tic-tac-toe, nodes and crosses are drawn inside an unoccupied cell of a 3 multiply 3 matrix by 2 players in alternating moves. Player 1 draw crosses and player 2 draw nodes. The game is won by the first player who draws a row or a column with the same symbol. If a game is not won by any player, which of the following statements are true and which are false? So the question is how we are supposed to apply the pigeonhole principle to these questions. There are 9 total turns in a game of tic-tac-toe with player 1 getting 5 turns and player 2 getting 4 turns since the game was a draw. There is no column or row with three crosses or three nodes. The first question is, there is a column with at least two nodes. The statement is true because player two has four turns and only three columns to choose from. Hence, one of his turns must have placed a second node in a column with an existing node. The second question is, there are two rows, each with two nodes. And the statement is false because player 2 had 4 turns. If he used all 4 to place 2 nodes in 2 rows, then row 3 would have be all crosses and player 1 would have won. The last question is, there are 2 rows and 2 columns with 2 crosses in each of these row and columns. The statement is true because player 1 had 5 turns. There are 3 rows, 3 columns and each turn must be placed in a row and column. Prison Hall principle says 5 over 3 must be two rows and two columns with at least two crosses. I hope everyone understand by the game best example that we shown. That's all from us. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Priscilla Elsa Anna Hilary and my metric number is 80981. Today I will share about how to apply Pigeon Hall principle in real life. According to the pigeonhole principle, if n items are placed in m containers with n more than m, at least one container must contain more than one item. For example, if one has three gloves and none of them are reversible, there are must be at least two right-handed gloves or at least two left-handed gloves because there are three objects but only two categories of handedness to classify them into. This seemingly obvious statement which is a type of counting argument can be used to demonstrate possibly of Sarawak exceeds the maximum number of hairs that can be present on a human's head. The pigeon hole principle requests that there be at least two people in Sarawak with the same number of hair on their head. That's all from me. The next part will be 
as planned by my friends. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Maisara Binti Munir and my metric number is 79947. I will present my part about the importance of pigeon hole principle. The importance of this theory is students are involved in more than listening that include less emphasis is placed on transmitting information and more on development of student skill. Moreover, students are involved in higher other thinking such as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Then, students are engaged in activities such as writing, reading, discussing, and observing. Last but not least, greater emphasis is placed on students' exploration of their attitude and values. That's all from me and thank you. Next part will be explained by my friends. Hi, my name is Aaron Vesna with matrix number 7 at 645. To conclude, the pigeon holes principle is a beautiful way to solve many problems. It has a lot of function and can be applied in various applications. The core of this principle is at least there are two objects in the same box. The box can be more as long as the objects exceed the box value. Mainly, the pigeon principle's coefficient is n more than m where the first integer always exceed the second one as the main name is given let's picture a situation of a group of pigeon and several holes there are seven pigeons and six holes so there will be two pigeon settings one hole and the rest is just solo the pigeon holes principles also can be seen in tic-tac-toe game Two players take turns drawing knots and cross onto an unoccupied square of 3x3 three three matrices of game of tic-tac-toe. To determine who will win, a player must be drawing the icons straight three times. The pigeonhole principle has a vast majority of benefits in real life, especially amongst university students. The essence of this idea is that student is more than just listening with an emphasis on developing skills rather than imparting information. In addition, students engage in higher order activities such as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. That's all for us and thank you.